internal resistance and potentiometer. Internal resistance is the resistance which is present within the cell or battery that resists the current flow when connected to a circuit. Thus, it causes a voltage drop when current flows through it. It is the resistance provided by the electrolyte and electrodes which is present in a cell. Effect of temperature in electrolyte there is an increase in thermally generated electrons over the existing ions, so the internal resistance will decrease with the increase of temperature and increases with the decrease of temperature. Now, how to decrease internal resistance of a cell? Decrease the distance between the anode and the cathode. Increase the surface of the electrode available for biofilm. Eventually change the electrode's material to more conductive ones and with higher specific surface. Fourth, increase the surface of the ionic exchange membrane if present. Internal resistance affects current. The internal resistance small r of a voltage surface affects the output voltage when a current flows. The voltage output of a device is called its terminal voltage and is given by V is equals to E minus I R. In case of a battery, sulfation means when battery is deprived of full charge, it builds up and remains on battery plates. Grid corrosion is another factor which increases the internal resistance. Grid corrosion means the lead of the positive grid is converted into the lead dioxide and of course temperature also affects the resistance heat lowers the internal resistance and cold raises the internal resistance so just now you'll see that when the led is connected with the battery directly to its terminals then it starts blowing and when it is connected with the old battery then we observe that there is no light it means that the terminal potential difference across this fresh battery is going beyond 9 volts but it is not showing any voltage on this old battery. So today we are going to study that the internal resistance of this old battery is quite more than this fresh battery. Internal resistance of a cell is actually the electrolyte which is opposing the flow of ions. Here you will see that it contains a zinc cap which acts as negative. Here it is a graphite which acts as positive and in between it there is an electrolyte. This electrolyte is actually uh, Ions. And then what happens is this restrict the flow of ion. So the ions which are restricted by this electrolyte is called internal resistance. So today we are going to study about the internal resistance. Students, first of all you must understand once again what is this internal resistance. Listen it carefully, it's a resistance offered by an electrolyte to the flow of ions. And this is the electrolyte. Once again, I show you with another battery that this is an electrolyte. And the resistance offered by the positive and negative ions by this electrolyte is called internal resistance. The major factors on which this internal resistance depends is the concentration of electrolyte. More the concentration of this electrolyte, more will be the internal resistance. Secondly, the distance between the electrode. This is a positive and this zinc cap is negative. The distance is less between these two, the resistance will be less. And if the distance between these two electrodes will be more, then internal resistance will be more. Secondly, the area dipped into electrolyte. All these electrodes must be deeply dipped into electrolyte. 
more the area of electrode will be dipped into electrolyte very very less will be the internal resistance thirdly the temperature more the temperature less will be the internal resistance and in cold and uh, in cold the internal resistance increases in batteries the size of a battery is also affecting the internal resistance the chemical properties also affects the internal resistance age of a battery temperature and the discharge current are the factors which affects the internal resistance of a battery now to measure the internal resistance of a cell in 1841 jonas has discovered this device which is uh, at present helping us in determining the internal resistance of a cell it is also used to compare the emf of a cell and measures the potential difference across a resistor it consists of a long wire of uniform cross sectional area and of about 10 meters in length the material of the wire is magnet which is very high high resistive and it is low temperature coefficient it is considered to be better than the voltmeter because potentiometer draws no current when when the uh, connected in the circuit whereas voltmeter draws a certain amount of current for the deflection and that is why it is not accurate principle of potentiometer the very important part of this uh, device is that its principle and sensitivity the potentiometer works on the principle that when a constant current flows through a wire of uniform cross sectional area then the potential difference between its two point is directly proportional to the length of the wire between the two points and this is a circuit diagram of potentiometer which measures internal resistance there is a primary circuit along with there is a driver battery in series with the rheostat and k1 this is a primary circuit which always remains with the potentiometer in the secondary circuit if we are asked to find the internal resistance of a cell then remember k2 is connected in series with resistance box and in the first step we close the k1 k2 is open and in the second step k1 is closed k2 is closed but from the resistance box a known resistance is removed here is a circuit diagram which is going to explain us about the internal resistance of a cell on this blue line you will observe that this is representing a potentiometer and this is a primary circuit on its left side the first one is k1 connected with the positive terminal of a driver battery and then with the rheostat these three elements which are on the left side representing the primary circuit on the secondary circuit there is a cell whose internal resistance is to be determined second it is connected with the resistance box it's a known resistance and in the first step the k2 is open connected with the galvanometer and with the jockey now here the blue which is representing a potentiometer is actually made up of magnet which has a very high resistivity and whose temperature coefficient is very low it means that when the temperature increases then resistance almost remains the same secondly here we talk about the terminals a and b terminal a is always a positive terminal so all the positive of the batteries and cells are connected to it and all the negative is connected to b so in the first step we write it as that k1 is closed and k2 is open k1 key is closed and k2 is open now when this is done in the circuit then only cell emf is active and resistance box is inactive so when we k1 is closed k2 is open null point is recorded in the galvanometer and it is read as e is equals to kl1 
Now in the second step, what we do, we close both the key. K1 is closed and K2 is also closed. When both the keys are closed, then a known resistance is removed from resistance box. Known resistance is removed from resistance box from RB. Now what happens? Now the null point when it is recorded is not measuring the EMF but the potential difference. Now here when null point is recorded, null point recorded, when null point is recorded we get a different length in the potentiometer and instead of E now it is V and we write it V is equals to KL2. In the third, to determine the internal resistance of the cell, it is a formula here, capital R, A upon V minus 1, capital R is the known resistance, E is equals to KL1, when K1 is closed, K2 is open, and when V is determined, capital R is a known resistance, K2 is again closed now, and we get a different length, and it is not a EMF but potential difference and it becomes KL2, K and K are cancels and then we get the desired formula as internal resistance is equals to R E upon V E upon V minus 1 and so uh, after rationalizing it we get L1 by L2 minus 1. So all the factors are known to it, capital R is known to it, L1, L2, both are known to it. With the help of this, we determine the internal resistance of a cell. This is a potentiometer device which was invented in 1841. It has two terminals and this is basically used to measure the internal resistance of a cell. Now this is positive terminal and this is negative terminal. Across these two terminals, there is a primary circuit connected in the battery potentiometer. This is a driver battery connected with the rheostat, which varies the current in the circuit. Along with the key, it is connected to the negative terminal. This is a secondary circuit in which there is a Lagrange cell connected with the galvanometer and parallel to it, there is a resistance box. Now, after the connection, when I touch in the lower wire, then you will observe that the galvanometer shows a right deflection. At present, there is no resistance in the circuit. And when I touch it on the topmost wire, then it goes to the left. In between these two points, there is a point where there is no deflection. And this is a null point where, where the EMF of a cell is determined. And this is a point where there is zero in the galvanometer. Now what I do is I introduced resistance in the circuit and, and about 90 ohms is introduced in the circuit. Now K2 is closed which is connected across this known resistance. Now the null point is again to be determined. We repeat the process again here. When we touch to the lower wire, then it is showing the right deflection. When we touch on the topmost wire, then it is showing a left deflection. It means our circuit is, is complete and correct. In between these two points, there is a point where galvanometer will show zero. This is V. We received the null point at this point. Now what we do that this is our length L2. Now how to count this length L2? We start counting from that point from where the current is beginning which is acting as a positive terminal. So this is 100, 200, 300, 400, 500, 600. And then it is going to my left and then coming from left, it is less than 700. So we put a scale here 
and we see that it is 793. So our length L2 is 793 with a resistance of 90 ohms. Thank you.